This year for Christmas uh, we're going to look at modelling a snowman using some advanced deal commands. So we're going to start with the main body and for that we're going to use the conical folded plate. So I'm going to, my first shape is a contour and right click, my second shape is a contour. So we're going to make the body out of three or four different conical folded plates. The number of facets per quadrant is how many times is this going to go in the brake press to make this shape. So we'll change this to 20. And there we have our first conical folded plate. So we're going to repeat that for the main part of the body. Again, we'll just do 20 for all of these and then we will do the last part of the body. So you can choose a contour in here. And there's our three conical folded plates. And I'm just going to put these on. I have a layer for the snowman's body. Now, if we look at these plates, we can actually go into the plate properties, and if we go to display type, we can do unfolded, and that is the flat profile that we need to fabricate that part. So we can do that with all uh, conical folded plates. Now, I have uh, done a little bit of uh, blue Peter work here, and I have already done the other two parts of the body, uh, just to speed things up. Next the snowman needs some arms. So if we turn the arms layer on here, I've just got a couple of AutoCAD polylines here. So you can see these are a polyline. So I'm going to convert these into a beam and we are going to make these arms by putting them into a brake press um, or into a bending machine. So I want them as one piece. So I'm going to use the beam from polyline command because I already have my polylines I can click on the word polyline in my command line here or I can click P and select the polylines. Do I want to delete them afterwards? I'm going to say no. Now that's trying to model them as I-beams which it's struggling with uh, because obviously there's not a lot of beam there so we'll just change them to round bars and we'll make them 50mm round bars. These need to be called beams. Now our snowman needs a scarf. So I do have in here a polyline drawn, uh, but we need the bit that goes around uh, the snowman's neck. So I'm going to do that out of a circular hollow section. So I'm going to choose a center point in here, and it's going to be 150 millimeters long. Now this is going to be quite a big circular hollow section, so if we scroll all the way down to the bottom we can go to all, and then this will give me every section that's in the system. So we're going to make this uh, a metre wide, and we're going to call this a beam, and then we'll put that on the snowman scarf layer. Now the bit, the bit of his scarf that's going to be waving in the breeze. I have that as an AutoCAD polyline and it is a closed AutoCAD polyline. So if I have a closed AutoCAD polyline I can use the plate at polyline command, choose the plate, let's make that out a 20mm plate, and that will convert that polyline into a plate for me. So again we'll put that on that layer. So we're starting to get our snowman in here. Now the one thing that is missing is his hat. So again we will use a circular hollow section. We'll just end the isolation of some construction. And again we're going to use a circular hollow section in here and we're going to make that 750mm long. Now we don't want it as big uh, as the scarf, we'll make it a little bit smaller. 
So we'll choose a 750-ish tube. That looks good. Again, we need to give this a name. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to use a connection. So I want a cap plate on the top and the bottom here. So in the connection vault, we do have an end plate command. So we can use the end plate command from the connection vault. And that will put uh, a square end plate on. But then within, we're going to shorten this by the plate thickness and we'll make it a 20 mil thick plate. What we can do here, the shape, we can change to round. And then the welds, I'm going to say, make that an all round weld. Then I'm going to copy that joint to the bottom of the tube. So if I click the bottom half of the tube, there we go, that will put that joint on there. And then we can go into the joint properties for this one. And for the dimensions, we're going to make this 300 millimeters bigger all round. Oh, not 30, 300. And these can go onto a layer I have in here. The only reason I'm changing the layers is so we can see the different colors in there. And I must have two joints in there. So to delete a whole joint, we can just select, select an element created by the joint box and then delete it. So we have our snowman with his arms, his scarf and his hat. He's just missing uh, his eyes, his smile and his nose. So what we are going to do for the eyes and the smile is we are going to rotate our UCS and we are going to put our UCS onto the center of this plate in here. So we've got our plate there. Then I'm going to go to the objects tab and I'm going to model some bolts and I'm going to model the bolts in a circular pattern. So I'm going to say the bolts are associated with this plate and this plate based at zero 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 and my radius is going to be 400 millimeters. So that will put six bolts in there. Now I'm going to put these to a 30 mil bolt. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 20 bolts in here. Now that's put a lot of bolts in. So what we can do with the bolt pattern in advanced steel is we can split this bolt group up and that will delete the bolts that we, well that will now remove them from a pattern. And then the ones that we don't want we can simply delete them and we will be left with, see which ones are going to work best for his eyes, we'll leave us these two. And these we want to make a little bit bigger. So we're going to go into the properties, sorry, we're going to go into the advanced properties. And through the Grey Tech Power Pack for Advanced Steel, we have added some extra bolts uh, into the system. So we have the ISO 4014, and those actually go up to M64. So we can add those in. So I started with a pattern and then I broke it up. I'm just going to override the color in here we're just giving grey eyes for the coal. So those are his little eyes and then the last thing that we are missing is his nose. Now I could do this out of a conical folded plate with two circles but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to insert it as a special part. So I have my special part modelled as a separate file. It's this file here. It is just uh, a 3D solid that I've done as a revolve. So you can see the XY of that special part. And in my model, my X9 needs to mimic that, which it is at the moment. So we can then go to the Tools tab and we can scroll down and we can go Insert a Special Part at 000. We can go and look for the file. 
So if we look at my desktop, here's my grey text snowman. We can then set the material, if that was being brought in as steel, uh, we can set it to S275 if that's what we're bringing it in as. We can set the coating and then we can weld it if we needed to. And that is how I would go about creating a steel snowman using advanced steel. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to save this file. Um, we have done a lot of work with the Revit and Advanced Steel workflows um, and we do have a one day training course for this so just to show you that we can take most things from Advanced Steel into Revit we're now going to number this model and we're going to put it into Revit so I'm going to go to the Export and Import tab I'm going to Export to Revit we'll override this file And I'm going to go to my Revit model. I'm going to start a new template file. I do have a grey text steelwork template where I have all of the connections loaded in um, and all of the steel sections loaded in. And the uh, advanced steel extension needs to be installed in your Revit. You can find that in your Autodesk account um, or your desktop app and we'll choose import choose the SMLX file and then that will in a second start building our snowman in Revit. So it's taking the advanced steel objects and then converting them to Revit objects. As you can see it's been brought in. The cyan tells me that it's still building things in the background so it still has background processes and there we go there is our snowman uh, he is missing his nose so the nose doesn't import into Revit so what we can do with the power pack I can export the model to solids and because I've only got the nose selected it will now only export that nose so we will do this as just a DWG and we will call this Greytech Snowman nose export we'll let the power pack export that and then within our Revit file we can insert a CAD file we'll import CAD we'll go into our snowman you see that the power pack will have created that file in here and then that will bring that in as a separate CAD file but that is how we can get the whole snowman from Advanced Steel into Revit and those items are steel plates inside of Revit the end plate connections that we did is an end plate connection so we can go into the dialog box and change it if we need to the items that we modelled as beams are have been brought in as beams uh, so the workflow between the two packages works very well and that is our snowman for this year